What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Gunner Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo calls out Canelo Alvarez. I'll be ready in September. Let's make the fight happen. Wow. Minutes after a unified super middleweight champion, Canelo Alvarez demolished Billy Joe Saunders. Jamal Charlo became the latest boxer to officially throw his name in the hat for the Canelo Alvarez sweepstakes. And this is what Charlo said. F the money, F the fame, F the networks. Charlo said in the Instagram, I'll lose my title and go to 168 to make that fight happen right now. The WBC middleweight champion Charlo is 31 and 0 with 22 KOs and will next fight Juan Mar Macias Montiel, which is 24-4-2-22 and 22 on June 19th at the Toyota Center in Houston on Showtime. But he already has his sights set on a fall mega fight with the biggest boxing breadwinner. He said, we can fight in the fall. I don't think he has anything on his resume. Whatever makes Canelo happy, said Charlo. When asked if he'd entertain fighting Canelo at 164, Catch weight. He said we could fight for the 160 pound WBC franchise championship. We haven't seen that in history before. Just get in the ring with Char Jamal Charlo and have the fans shut up in September. I'll be ready then. I'll I'm fighting June 19th. I'll be ready in September. Whatever they want. They're going to try and put me in a situation where it's not fair for me. And that's why I'm prepared to be the most comfortable in the most uncomfortable position. And if that takes me fighting Montiel, that's what I'm going to do. I'm here to win. I'm here to take over the world in boxing. It's not that hard to make the fight. They make fights every day. Those are the words of Jamal Charlo. Look, let me counterpunch. All eyes on Canelo, first of all. Um, I think that uh, Jamal is a guy that people, in, you know, uh, the usual suspects wanted Jamal or wanted Canelo to take on Jamal back in the day, you know, and that's been a fight that's kind of been like the the under said fight that people whispered and wanted to happen in certain platforms, but it never happened. Now, him wanting to fight Canelo now, it just makes me question why now. You know, maybe he's had a newfound sense of confidence. And the reason why I said why now is because you guys remember when uh, the WBC elevated Canelo Alvarez to uh, franchise champion. They also gave the belt, the regular championship, the one Canelo had originally to Jamal Charlo and Jamal Charlo didn't make a peep. In fact, he was like, I'm just glad these guys know they they know I'm a good fighter and this, that, and the, you know, he didn't call out anyone, in other words. Okay, so the things that he should have said, like he's saying right now, he should have been saying that then. So I'm thinking like, okay, where was the energy then? You didn't call out Canelo when they gave you the WBC belt. You didn't really care if they gave him or elevated him the franchise belt. You know, now it doesn't stop me from not liking what he said now, better late than never, I guess, but... You know, I just didn't see it then. That just makes me question that because the, you know, just like Devin Haney on his on his uh, uh, behalf, Devin Haney was given the WBC belt. They call the email belt, right? So he was given that belt, but then that didn't stop him from wanting fight for the uh, the franchise belt. Okay, when that happened, okay. See, Jamal's been a champion for what now? Two years now? Year and a half? Two years since they gave him that belt? Because they elevated Canelo Alvarez to franchise champion, you know, and, and I know what Jamal's doing. He's like, well, look, if 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 uh, Teofimo can beat Loma and take the franchise belt, why can't I fight Canelo to possibly beat him to take that franchise belt? So I get what he's saying on that instance, but I just didn't see the energy now unless he's again, he must have had some type of new confidence found somewhere. You know what I mean? Those M's are the things that are that are desired from boxers, and he wants to put it in. 
you know, but realistically speaking, I think that Canelo will do business with the PBC. Unfortunately, it won't be with Jamal Charlo. It would be with Caleb Plant. That's the fight that needs to happen. You know, he wants Canelo to fight for the 160 pound championship, which he's not there. So again, it's not even a convenient discussion, really. He should have said that when he was there. And on top of that, to put the cherry on top of the ice cream, okay, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, which was the promoter of Canelo Alvarez, claimed that he offered Jamal Charlo $5 million to fight Canelo. You know, I don't know how true that is or whatever, but hey, you know, these are the things that were said from Oscar De La Hoya back then. So, you know, if there were supposed uh, uh, um, offers thrown around that Jamal didn't know about, then that means he should find out why the hell he didn't know about it. <laughs> Counterpunch. So I think at the end of the day, uh, Jamal Charlo and, and a lot of people really, they want Canelo because Canelo is on that, uh, uh, riding that new powerful promotional freight train, which is a match room. Okay. And he is the top fighter. He's the best pound for pound fighter, probably more than likely the highest paid fighter, more than likely, you know, cause you do have Anthony Joshua, which is also with match room. So, you know, I just find it um, very interesting to see these guys call out Canelo, but very, very typical because Canelo, again, has that money. And then people, you know, 73,000 people came to one spot to see one fight. Right. So I think that's positive, too. So the money is there. So Jamal might be elevated by that money. OK, so but um, you guys tell me what you think of Jamal Charlo calling out Canelo Alvarez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been Counterpunch.